What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and the video review of the upgraded version of the Tian Q XS809W, the foldable RC quadcopter ready to fly in black. This one has the Wi-Fi FPV, but instead of the 0.3 megapixel camera, it has the 2 megapixel 120 degree field of view camera and it has the usual one key return headless mode and it also does the flips and it has three speeds and yes this one has altitude hold as well and here is the box of the previous version this is the Tian QXS809W without the altitude hold and the it has the 0.3 megapixel camera. So we're gonna do a little comparison as well. So let's go ahead and open up this box and check this baby out. All right, I got the quadcopter and all of the contents out of the box and check this baby out. Yep, it's got the same looks, the visual drone in black and it has the foldable arms as you can see. I'm flipping the arms out and it has the DJI Mavic kind of design so that is fantastic looking all in black it has the two megapixel camera this time and there's the red led lights uh, looking like eyes there also got the led lights right underneath of the motor pods nice and bright and it's got the geared motors of course and it also has the on and off switch on the bottom and if you take a look on the bottom here it is the proprietary battery and the battery is a 3.7 volt 900 milliamp size battery and it utilizes the same battery as the previous version of course and to charge the battery here is the micro usb uh, port there so you can charge it up with your phone charger as well but the main difference between this one and the original one is the fact that it comes with a 2 megapixel camera instead of the original 0.3 megapixel camera so that is the main difference in the looks everything looks identically the same as the previous version but the previous version has the same battery so I am able to utilize this battery for this quadcopter as well so that is fantastic. Now, let's take a look at the remote control. The remote control is identical as well, but the main difference is the takeoff and land button works this time around, and the emergency stop button works. On the previous version, uh, and here it is, this button had the markings, but it did not function because the quadcopter did not have those functionalities but now we do and between the two remote controls uh, the main difference of it is that this one is an altitude hold unit so the throttle stick springs right back to the middle and the previous version does not it stays in place so we know that this model has the altitude hold function now let's take a look at the uh, button functionality there's a speed changing button here and it is marked speed and here's the flip button here and it is also marked flip take off and land emergency stop power on off this button here takes a photo this button here takes a video but this one is still a Wi-Fi FPV unit so these things does not work there's the one key to return this is the headless mode and the trim buttons here. Now to calibrate the quadcopter's gyro, both sticks to the bottom and out will calibrate the quadcopter's gyro. So each and every flight, you should calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter. Now, that is all good news, but let me tell you about some of the bad news. Well, because of the megapixel increase on the camera, the fly time on the battery has been reduced from 10 minutes from the previous version to 8 minutes on this version and on paper on the product page the control distance uh, which was marked 100 meters on the previous version is now marked only 50 meters and the Wi-Fi FPV distance previous version was marked at 70 to 100 meters while on this model is marked only 10 meters 
only 10 meters. Now we're going to test that out, but that seems to be very low. All right. So let's go ahead and take this baby for a flight, but let's check out what else we get in the box first. We get a bag of goodies here. We got the prop guards and we got some extra props. So that's fantastic. And you also get the user manual, of course, and you also get the charge cable the usb to micro usb charge cable and that is everything that was in the box so let's go for that flight with the tnq xs 809 this one should be called hw all right all right we are ready to go with the visual drone so what we're going to do now is go ahead and turn on the quadcopter here and turn on the remote control and bind it up and down will bind it here is the phone clip and all it is is just a little flip over and you got yourself a spring loaded phone clip so that is fantastic now what we're going to do is go into the wi-fi settings on the phone and we're going to connect to the uh, wi-fi network of this xsw quadcopter and the app is called the xsw ufo app in the app store it is a free download so go ahead and check it out i am connected and it is the wi-fi 720p network so let me go ahead and connect to it with the xsw ufo app and we are in and hopefully we have fpv yep we got wi-fi fpv and what is looking like is is a very nice video yeah and it's got that fish eye as you can see the horizon uh twarping up and down so that is fantastic all right so let's go ahead and take a photo first all right took a photo and let's take a photo of the right side here took a photo there take a photo of those buildings far away took a photo there take a photo of the mountains and take a photo of the car and one more for good luck all right we have taken some photos and now we're going to hit that video button and it is in yellow now and it is counting down there's a counter on the bottom that is fantastic it's got a very nice uh video Feed. so that is fantastic okay what did I touch all right I touched the uh, flip button sorry about that all right so we are connected we are ready to go so let's go ahead and take off with this baby here we're gonna check out the take off and land button so let's go ahead and check that out this one does work with it so oh yeah oh it just jumps right up nice there's a little breeze taking it to the right so let's bring it towards in front of us here but you know what what i forgot to do was calibrate the gyros before each and every flight like i say so let's go ahead and check out the one kilo land button here and press it and let's bring it down i can still direct it with the pitch so right there in the grass and the motors turn off so the one kilo takeoff and the one kilo land works fantastic nice that is one of the upgrades of this new upgraded version so let's go ahead and do the uh, calibration of the gyros both sticks to the bottom and out we'll calibrate it and it beeped and the lights blinked and now they are solid so we have been calibrated so let's go ahead and uh, start the motors as well manually both sticks to the bottom and in we'll start the motors as well and disarm the motors as well so let's go ahead and arm the motors and take off manually so that works good too nice and check it out guys that is the altitude hold nice huh we finally got a working altitude hold on this visual drone the previous model did not have this altitude hold 
so that was what it was missing and I was saying that in my uh, review video that I wish this one had altitude hold oh man those red lights in the front those little eyes is pretty bright I can see it from pretty far away so the orientation is really nice too Very, very nice flyer, very smooth, very nice, and right side flip. Rear flip, nice flips. Perfect flips. This is a very good flyer. Look at that flip. nice and check it out I can just do it with one hand very nice and it holds its altitude unlike the previous model so very very nice very very nice flyer does very good flips excellent now let's send it out right here and hit the one key to return and check it out returning to the southbound position and just redirect it with the pitch and you are out of the one key return all right fantastic headless mode going forward in a spin and I'm yawing to the left full yaw to the left and the quadcopter is in a spin and I am just directing it with my pitch going to the left going to the right So headless mode works fantastic on this quadcopter. So far, it hasn't done anything that I can say any negative things about the quadcopter so far. Nice. So that's speed one. Now we are in speed two. Yeah. It's got a little bit more speed, a little bit more pitch. And it seems to me the altitude hold is not really holding it back that much. Not bad, not bad. Speed number two, funnels in speed number two, pretty cool. All right, hit that speed number. Oh, there's only two speeds. No, there's the third speed right there. Was I in speed number two to begin with and then did the speed number three funnels? Okay, we are in speed number three. And an ant is crawling up my arm. Okay, so it's in speed number three right now. Okay, that is the funnels, and now we are in speed number one. Very docile, very smooth, not much pitch, and this is the perfect speed you want to take aerial videos. So let's send it up and just kind of pan a little bit. Hopefully it takes some nice videos. Let me take a look at the screen here. Oh, yeah.
Oh, check that out. A fantastic upgraded camera, guys. Nice. An altitude hold, so you got perfect control of what you want to take videos of. Let's bring it down. Not bad, not bad. Very nice. Let's go to speed number two. See if I can do some Wi Fi FPV here. Oh, there's a little breakup though. Man, too bad there's breakups, and I'm going right next to me, going behind me, turning around. And I still got visual. Oh, there's a freeze there. Oh, the quadcopter just passed by me. So it is not the best Wi-Fi FPV experience. So when I take it out, and it says 10 meters. And I'm going, going, going. And I still got control. There, I still got control. And I still got video. There, I'm pushing it out. I'm going towards the 100 meter bush. And my Wi-Fi FPV has frozen. So that is around the distance. And it looks to me like around maybe 30 meters or so and looking back towards me i got visual and it's coming towards me and it kind of froze and it regained froze regained and it is passing right by me there it is Okay, so it's not the best Wi-Fi FPV quadcopter and it is in a spin because of the control distance. It is not the best control distance either. So instead of that 70 to 100 meter uh, control distance, uh, they are saying now it is only 50 meters. So let's test out the range. And let's just push it out. And I got my remote control above my head. And yeah, that is the control distance right there. And it is stuck. It is just in a hover, okay? And it is slowly coming down and it has landed itself. Check that out, guys. So there's a actual fail-safe landing when it loses connection after about, oh, that is about 50 meters. That is absolutely correct. The product page has that correct. The product page also has the Wi-Fi FPV semi downgraded to only 10 meters, but we did have uh, Wi-Fi FPV almost up to 30 meters. So that is the control distance and the Wi-Fi FPV distance of the new upgraded version of the Tianq XS809. I'm going to call it HW because it has H is standing for height hold and W is standing for Wi-Fi FPV. So the upgrade is fantastic, but the distance remains kind of uh low so but still a very nice quadcopter that has been upgraded 
and the camera seems to have a very nice video so I can't wait until doing some uh, editing and check out the video quality of the new upgraded version of this quadcopter all right so what we are going to do is run the battery out so we're going to take off one more time auto take off and let me check out the lights over here and the lights are still solid so we still got good flight time here so that is fantastic let's just go do some uh, speed passes and we are in speed number three with the three beeps nice nice flying quadcopter man very nice now because of the altitude hold yeah a very nice quadcopter and I believe this model with the upgraded camera It's only a few dollars more than the previous model. So guys, if you uh, did not get one of these quadcopters, and or guys, if you are a beginner looking for a nice quadcopter, for a beginner style quadcopter with some Wi-Fi FPV with a nice camera, and this is a very nice choice. Yep. really nice very smooth flying guys and I'm still taking a video that is fantastic yep and I don't have to look up to see what a quadcopter is because I got altitude hold and I got a freeze right there okay it's coming towards me all right it's coming towards me now and it is going right over me over the car And I'm going to do a 180. Oh, I lost visual. Where is it? Okay, it's over there. So that's one thing bad. It doesn't have the distance. There you go. It's coming towards me again. Yep, passing over me. Nice. So it should be right there. All right, fantastic. Wait a minute. The lights are still solid. Check that out. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> okay, now it won't do a flip, guys check that out so the battery level is low and I think the lights are flashing now yep the lights are flashing so as soon as the quadcopter uh, goes into the LVC mode where the lights are flashing it will not do a flip because you need a lot of power to do flips so what we are going to do is bring it down and we're gonna bring it down with the one key to land and hitting that one key to land and you can still direct its path of landing with your pitch and roll and the motors stop. Nice! Stopping the video.
All right, hopefully we got that. And let's check out the album here. And yes, we have the video file saved. Nice. And it looks pretty good. Hello. Yep, it looks pretty nice. All right. Let's get out. Let's check out the photos. And yes, we got a bunch of photos, guys. Nice. Very nice. Turning off the remote. Turning off the quad cutter. Very nice. Hey guys, I've noticed something on this new upgraded version of the Visual Drone and it actually has a DVR built in. Uh, the previous version did not have this little slot. It did have a slot, but it has some Wi-Fi FPV circuitry and it wasn't a DVR. But this one actually has a DVR. I did put a micro SD card in there and it was spring loaded, but the DVR, it does not work to record your photos and videos and uh, the functionality of the remote control when you hit that photo button the lights do flash on the quadcopter and the lights do flash on the quadcopter when you hit that video button as well but the recording doesn't go into the micro SD card so obviously it is not connected it is connected to the Wi-Fi FPV so that is one thing, but I'm pretty sure some of you might be able to get in here and uh, cancel out the Wi-Fi FPV functionality and maybe put the video signal from the camera to the uh, actual DVR and maybe it might work. So we do have the actual hardware of the DVR in this model. All right, guys, we got the Tian QXS 809 HW, the upgraded version of the visual drone. And what we are going to do now is we are going to fly this baby with the Wi-Fi phone app. It has the virtual sticks. It has the gyro mode and it also has the flight planner. And guess what, guys? It has voice control. So we're going to check all those functionalities out. So let's go ahead and dive in. Turning on the quadcopter, going into my settings and connecting to the Wi-Fi network of the UFO app. That's taking a long time. Come on, dude. There we go. Wi-Fi 720p. And let's hit that. Connected. Let's go to the app. And we are in the app. Let's hit that play. Nice. We are in the app itself. And let's go ahead and turn on the virtual sticks. And we do have the altitude hold button on. Now I have the one key to take off, one key to land. We got the 360 flips. We got the gyro mode. We got the flight planner. And when you hit that button right there, we have the voice control. All right, but first let's check check it out with the virtual sticks. So let me go ahead and hit that one key to take off. Oh yeah! All right. Oh, very docile in the thirty percent. Let me go ahead and hit that speed button to one hundred percent. So I have better control. Awesome, and it is fantastic because we got altitude hold, and you don't need to mess with the height. All right. Let's go to the left, going to the right, going forward, coming back, and it has got fantastic controls from the Wi-Fi phone app, as you can see. It's a pretty good control, very accurate, and very responsive. Yep, not much delay in it as well. All right. Now, since the joysticks work, the virtual sticks work, let me see if I can fly this thing. Yep pretty good not bad at all all right it's working fantastic let me bring it down just a little bit here to eye level and I'm going to hit that gyro all right now tilting the phone my favorite mode the G mode fantastic mode control your quadcopter with the tilting action of your phone not bad at all huh? nice oh yeah baby nice going to the left going to the right hovering 
Not bad at all. That is working fantastic. The gyro mode, guys. Okay, let me get out of that gyro mode, and I'm going to hit that flight planner where I draw lines, and the quadcopter will follow the direction of the lines. So drawing a line diagonally, yeah, baby. Come this way, baby. Yeah, that's it. Come over here. Yeah. There you go. Draw a little line, drawing a forward line, and another forward line, and drawing a rear line, backward line, to the right, to the left, and let's see. Let me draw a circle, a spiral. Check that out. It is going in a spiral all by itself. How cool is that? That is the flight planner, guys. I'm bringing it back. Bringing it back. Awesome. All right, let me get out of that flight planner. And here is the moment we have all been waiting for is the voice control. Now, I don't think it takes off and lands because those are not some of the phrases that are included in this voice control app. So, that's one thing bad, but let me go ahead and hit that voice control here. And we are in voice control. Oops. Backward. 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 There you go, guys. It is working and it is backward. Let me go up in altitude a little bit. Forward. Forward, left side, backward, right side, forward, left side, backward. Fantastic, isn't it? Forward, backward, 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 forward, 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 left side, left side, backward, backward. Not bad. Forward. Not bad, huh? Landing. Nah, those functions don't work on this one. Oops. Did I say forward? Oop, I did. Backward. Oh, I said really soft, too. Backward. Backward. Forward. Right side. Man, this thing is sensitive to the max. Left side. Left side. Backward. Right side. Man, this thing works fantastic. Right side. Right side. I'm having a lot of fun, man. Backward. Backward. Left side. Backward. Forward. Oh, shit. <laughs> Almost came straight at me. Right side. Nice. Check that out. It works fantastic. Oops. Backward. 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 Okay, let me get out of the voice control mode and just control it with the virtual sticks here absolutely fantastic there you go guys the upgraded version of the tianq xs 809 hw with the two megapixel wi-fi fpv camera awesome absolutely fantastic all of the functions work terrific and the phone control is absolutely fantastic Go get yours. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. A direct link. So if you already have one of these guys, then you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't have one of these, man, get yourself one into your quadcopter collection. And if you are trying to get a quadcopter as a beginner quadcopter, this is a fantastic quadcopter copter to get for your first time quadcopter it is fantastic easy to control with the joysticks and it's got tons of features in the Wi-Fi phone app all right so we're gonna hit that one key to take off or one key to land button I'm sorry one key to land and we are directing it with the pitch and there you go touchdown nice all right we just got done flying the visual drone the 
Tian Q XS809 HW with the Wi-Fi phone app as well as the remote control and the three of the upgrades are fantastic. The two megapixel Wi-Fi FPV camera has excellent video so far as I can tell. I need to go home and check out the actual uh, footage but so far it is looking fantastic and of course we got the altitude hold on this baby here and as well as the one key to take off and one key to land so they did a fantastic job on the upgrade and this baby flies fantastic with the remote control and as you have seen it does fantastic with all of the features of the Wi-Fi phone app including the gyro mode the flight planner and now it is becoming one of my favorites voice control all right guys so that is my review of the Tianq XS809 HW the visual drone thank you very much for watching and